Hi guys, today we're reviewing the Dolce & Gabbana Medicine Man watch, model number DW0513. In the review we'll go through the style, features as well as dimensions. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hi, so you'll notice in the title of this video for this watch, I've put it as rare with a question mark. The reason being, so a lot of the times you see this watch advertised on websites or on the internet, it's always marked up as rare. Now the watch isn't available anymore, it is a discontinued model, but then quite a few of my watches are. Not all of them, sort of about a mix of half and half, some are, some aren't. Doesn't make them rare though, just because they're discontinued. And this one again is exact example of that. You'll see an awful lot of people selling this watch, you can look on eBay, on some of the other sites, Spock, other places, watch time. There are places selling this watch quite often in its used condition. And always people tend to put them as rare. Now, not everyone. This one wasn't marked as rare when I bought this one from the seller. The seller was fantastic. He did say it was marked and scratched a little bit. It's hardly scratched compared to some of them. I've seen some watches that people will tell you they're rare to try and get you to pay more money for them. And they're terrible condition. This one was actually in quite good condition considering I didn't pay a lot for this one either. And that's one of the things you need to be aware of. When you're looking at a Medicine Man watch, be aware that people will try to get you pay a lot of money for a second-hand watch by claiming that it's rare or difficult to get hold of. It is unique. That's one thing I will say, but it's definitely unique. But it's like with some of the luxury watches when you see people selling Rolex watches, they'll try and tell you that a discontinued model is a rare watch. When in fact Rolex probably produced eight or nine hundred thousand of that particular model. Be aware when buying that if you see something that says it's rare, have a look around, see how rare it is. Look on the internet. If you can see four or five of these watches for sale at any one time, they're not rare. Um, and the same goes for, you know, on eBay sometimes you look at it, somebody will advertise one as rare at quite a high price for a bad condition one. You'll look down the list and then through that list you'll see that there's a two or three others for sale. So just be aware when buying. As you can see, this is a stainless steel rectangular watch. We have a polished stainless steel case. We've got brushed steel on the lugs that hold the strap in place. And on this side, we've got two buttons. So we've got a crown with the Dolce & Gabbana logo in it. And then we've got a blue sort of on silver button. And we'll come to that a little bit later. This particular model has a white leather strap. It's a stitched strap. We have two retainers in place, one of them that moves, the other one's fixed so you can get your watch through it. And then we've got the Dolce & Gabbana stainless steel buckle, you've got the little logo in it. The leather strap's got quite a lot of adjustment points in it, it's got the Dolce & Gabbana logo in it, and on the other side it tells us just about, it's a bit faint, that it's genuine leather. Now the one thing I will say is this strap is very, very long, it's enormous. Um, it's long enough, in fact, that if I had this on the last pinhole, I can literally get the whole watch over my hand and onto my wrist without even undoing it. So it's a very long strap. Now, they do sell this watch under a different model number with a metal strap or metal bracelet, which I think is a lot smaller and a lot shorter. They also have seen, though, they do a black leather strap as well. If we come to the back of the watch, you can see we've got this stainless steel back. This tells us that the watch is five atoms or 50 meters water resistant, and it's all stainless steel. If we come to the face, you can see we have this very, very unique face. And this is one of the reasons, or the only reason I really bought this watch. The edge of the face, you've got a brushed steel finish to the outer edge of the case. And then you've got this inner face, which is this TV test card. So you've got a sort of a circle window in the middle and then you've got the outer test card around the very edge of the case you've got black and white squares. So you've got your numbers on the outer part of the face outside of the circle. So in the middle you've got the circle which has got the hands. It, at the top it's got DMG for Dolce & Gabbana. Down the bottom it says time and then it's got a little six numeral. You've then got your stainless steel hands, your hours, minutes and seconds all in stainless steel. There is a slight different look to the inner circle. It's sort of different colour than the rest of the watch. That's because with this button at the side, which I mentioned earlier, this button is the button to illuminate this centre section of the watch. So if you press the button at the bottom, the watch illuminates at night. 
You press your finger, hold it in, let go, it gives you about a second's worth of extra light. One thing you'll notice on the face that there is no date window on this watch. So again, it's just timing only, but then you don't buy it for that. You buy this watch purely as a fashion watch because of its style and design in its face. Now, personally, I have been waiting a very long time to get one of these watches. I've been looking at these for some time, considerable amount of time. I've always looked and couldn't make up my mind whether I wanted the metal bracelet or not. But looking at it, the metal bracelet looks quite hard to adjust to size. Now, they list this particular watch as a unisex size watch with the white strap, which I can tell it would be because of that enormous great strap. I mean, this one's huge, would fit a very, very thick wrist. The metal version, they always list as a woman's watch. And it does look like the strap may be a little bit smaller on the metal version than it is on the leather ones. And as I said, the metal version, you can't seem to adjust it. Once the strap's at a certain length, you can't move it. There are no adjustment points. And that's a bit of a problem because I've got funny shaped wrists that I don't always get watches to fit very easily. That's why I went for the or weighted so I could get hold of this version, the leather strap. So guys, if we come to the sizes, the face of the watch is 36 millimeters. The case is 40 millimeters across. If you include the crown and the little blue button, that makes it 44 millimeters. The strap is 19 millimeters width. The thickness of the watch or depth of the watch is only nine millimeters. So it looks quite chunky, but it's actually quite thin. And weight wise, because it's all stainless steel, but with a lightweight leather strap, it only weighs 52 grams. So as I said, keep your eye out for these. They will be available every now and then. You'll see them on websites. They are very nice watches. Just be careful with what kind of condition you get one in and how much you pay for them. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the review. If you do, please hit the like button down below. Please think about subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next load of videos. Thanks again. Bye bye. <laughs>